The young filmmakers are reenacting American history where it happened. These children are portraying two Union generals meeting at the Rapidan River in central Virginia. Are you up for the challenge? What do you need accomplished? The 12 and 13 year olds are producing a mini video or vodcast on the key role temporary pontoon bridges played during the war. Transported by soldiers, the bridges consisted of small boats tied together with planks on top. After building and crossing a pontoon bridge on the Rapidan, Union soldiers defeated a Confederate army in the Battle of the Wilderness. Shane Lohr, who plays one of the generals, learned the bridges provided big advantages for the armies because they could set them up quickly. It took wagons, horses, and all the soldiers across the bridges. And once everyone crossed it, they took it apart and brought it with them. This is one of several videos relating to the Civil War being produced by local school children. The project is sponsored by the Journey Through Hallowed Ground, which raises awareness of historical sites from Pennsylvania to Virginia, including many Civil War battlefields. Jesse O. Cohen, the group's educational programs director, says the vodcasts are put to good use. You can upload on the internet and teachers across the country and arguably across the world can then use them in their own classrooms. With help from advisors, the children also research, write, and edit the videos. Action. Alexis Albert got a chance to try out directing and learned a lot about Civil War history in the process. It helps me more as a student understand it more than like reading a book and looking at words. In this scenario, students portray soldiers who are marching to the river with muskets. Today this area is part of a national military park. Park Educational Coordinator Peter Mogul shows the children how to hold the fake musket. Hopefully they will understand why these places are important through projects and uh, programs like this and they will make an effort to go ahead and keep these places preserved for future generations. Another backdrop for the videos is nearby Elwood Manor, the plantation where much of the Battle of the Wilderness was fought. Here another group of children is focusing on the diary of a woman who lived in the region during the war. Student director John Ashley says the experience has made him think more about the human aspect of the war. The history books you read about, you know, the battles and that sort of stuff, I learned a little bit more about the people that were living here at this time. Filmmaker Gil Hong donated his time to help the students, who he says have caught on quickly. They're trying to convey the emotions that might have been conveyed back, you know, during the Civil War. They really focus on wanting the story to be accurate. The vodcast will be available in May, and like student videos produced over the past four years, can be viewed on the Journey Through Hallowed Ground website and on YouTube. Deborah Block, VOA News, Locust Grove, Virginia. Marching.